Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to uh, make an overview of the ELK stack. So Elasticsearch, Kibana and uh, Logstash. So that's our priority. So we will see how we will integrate ELK with uh, Spring Boot in coming videos also. So sp Spring Boot ELK. So how we will do that. So first we need to set a our ELK environment so how I will do that is the things so we can do in various ways whether we are going in an approach of a uh, docker that will be better I guess docker ELK so let's see how I can do that Docker ELK running the elastic stack on Docker. So this is a something complex one. Probably I need to look at another options here. ELK Docker. So we have one image. Let's see whether it, it will work or not. So I guess I will go with the traditional approach instead of going for uh, uh, Docker approach, but we can do from Docker also. ELK installation so right now what I'm going to ELK installation on Mac so so this is all uh, regarding brew I don't want to use brew anymore so this one probably yeah there is a step by step guide here so I will go with this one yeah, that's all regarding homebrew. I don't want to use that. Yeah, everything is homebrew installation. So, install Elasticsearch on Mac. So, we are just using this one curl. Okay, the particular version also I am taking. So I, I need to take another window here and probably I will go to CD. Yeah, I will go to CD tools. Then here I have so many things. So I am going to create a directory called ELK. And I am going to insert that directory and using the curl yeah, to download my elastic search Also, if we are just using for elastic search Docker image, that also will work. Elastic, and there is already one elastic search Docker image. You can pull in the uh, image and run. So, probably I will go with that approach instead of uh, starting and running on my machine. So what I am going to do is I 
and paste in my docker elastic search one here so it will pull all the all the images from the git repo So this is a single node cluster. So you can have multiple node, multi node cluster, but uh, uh, with uh, so many instances of Elasticsearch, uh, that need another uh, Docker file. Probably uh, visiting this website and going to this file and downloading this and using the Docker app command, you can do that. So to make sure. whether my elastic search is running or something we can use this command curl my local was and to w0 okay so where we reach right now so actually right now it's downloading my files right now okay so right now it's all almost done open jdk install so it's create a cluster with a id so i guess we are done right now let me take another window and try okay so I got the result cluster name Docker cluster version everything is there so if I am going here in my browser what I'm gonna get that also I need to check so here I need to another tab and typing this one yeah it's include everything related to the docker cluster cluster name cluster uid and uh, you know for search everything so the installation is successful so it's very easy to install from uh, our docker instance also we can do this kind of installation just downloading the tar file and extracting that then going to that particular bean.elasticsearch and uh, run the bad file that also works but uh, this one will be more preferred I guess so right now I am done with that so thank you for watching this video next videos I will come with more more things actually I have something pending Kafka stream a spring cloud stream with Kafka so probably I will go for that thank you for watching